All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Assemble Plus. My name is Jonathan. Today, we're talking about the trial of Magneto number two. Now, there's a lot of questions to be asked in this one, but most importantly, at the end of the book, we see Wanda being revived. It goes right over to Kiss Vision. Now, if you don't remember back in number one, they were talking about a backup of Wanda that is very old. Now, there's a lot of things to suggest, actually, that this is an older backup of Wanda and not the current one. Now, one of those would be in that, obviously, Vision is the ex-husband, but obviously, in current comic storyline to my understanding she was dating brother voodoo right so obviously going right over and kissing your ex-husband and not mentioning your current boyfriend would actually suggest to me that this is either an illusion i doubt it but also that this is an older backup that they did mention revived by the five now one of the more interesting things here as well is why didn't hope want the avengers to have her body what does the body say about wanda and her destiny that the avengers would have figured out by getting the body right it's one of those things that there's a lot of interesting things going on here and you got to wonder why did hope put magneto in that position to have magneto go and attack everybody in order to get the avengers to leave now one of the more interesting things as well is obviously there's the political differences between the x-men and the avengers right so when the avengers are walking through they're obviously worried about them seeing the krakoan way of reviving the x-men they're like oh crap we're gonna have to like wipe their memories out right which to my understanding would be a very big no-no with the alliance between the avengers and the x-men right no one wants to see the avengers and x-men go again right i don't think anyone wants to see that so a lot of interesting things here going on but obviously the big question is what is going on with Wanda and what is going to happen at the end of this book? I mean, there really isn't a lot to say here other than like what the heck is going on, right? We do see that there's a little bit more going on with Krakoa than we realize, right? We still have Onslaught coming up. We have Inferno coming up. And now obviously there is some things going on with Wanda here that would make you think that obviously as we do know, there is going to be a Wanda divided coming up in issue number four, right? So it does seem like we are going to have two Wandas at one point. So there's a lot here going on Krakoa and I've always thought that you know it's too good to be true you x-men never get their own way they never get the happy ending and I do believe that this is just the start of what we see with the x-men and how their kind of like paradise is going to unfortunately for them kind of become their almost doom at that point as well right so with that being said the trial of magneto once again delivers a great issue super fun super good and honestly i would expect it to based off of number one number one we get that kind of mystery set away at the csi investigation and now we're at number two we do get more of that mystery right hope and mystique what are they up to what do they know what did hope say to magneto and why did magneto go crazy at the end there there's a lot there that you have to take into consideration once again and it really does seem like there is something brewing here with wanda and how does wanda come back to life on her own right i do firmly believe that wanda is going to come back the actual wanda that died and because of that what is going to happen with the two wandas are they like are they going to do some magic merging or what is going to happen there right so honestly guys if you haven't read the trial of magneto you really should i mean it does take place within the hellfire gala so you do have to know a little bit there but basically you know you don't really have to know a lot it seems like my comic store at least still had quite a bit of issues in number one if you were interested but it did seem like they were pretty much sold out of number two so this might be one of those ones where it's supposed to be really good moving forward and because of that it might be harder to find so i highly recommend anyone to pick this up as soon as you can and get on it because i really do think this is going to be one of the better ones moving forward as someone who doesn't really care for the x-men someone who doesn't really like the x-men though i am reading hickman's x-men kind of overarching story and i do like a little bit obviously the recent x-men titled run right now as well as i did pick up the house of x and powers of x stuff i do like what hickman has overarching story building up to i do like the idea that he's kind of the grandfather now of the x-men side of the world and because of that you do get a lot of these mysteries and a lot of these setups so with that being said if you are interested in the X-Men, there's no better time than a present to pick them up. And that also includes the Trial of Magneto. Now, with that being said, guys, that is it for the Trial of Magneto number two review. What did you guys think of this one? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time here on the Subble Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later, guys.